Hi everyone, hope that you are well. Uh, today we will speak about the lighting design for the indoor swimming pool. So I'm delighted to dive in you in uh, and, and establish a new lighting concept. Um, this talk, this time a little bit more um, specific, um, knowing that the swimming pool lighting is to create a safe environment. Um, I don't have an DVG file to import and therefore um, I est establish the, um, I, the room planning. So dimension uh, of the room, height, um, width and length. Um, my space is already created. So I will just click on my space and in a couple of seconds will be loaded um, in Dialux Evo. So here we go, we have uh, a 2D um, visualizing and now if I switch to a 3D, uh, this is the space that we will establish the lighting, lighting design um, for, the, for, the, for the indoor swimming pool, as mentioned early. Uh, we have a lot of natural light. Um, in usual, usual cases, um, the indoor swimming pools can, will have a lot of natural light um, from skylight or as in, in this project we have on, the, on both sides, on the, on the length of the, of the swimming pool and we have a lot of, uh, of natural light. Uh, we can see that the space is 35 meters and the width is on 20 meters, height of the space is six meters. And if we check the dimension of the swimming pool, it's a standard dimension on 25 meters uh, by 10.5. Usually this dimension is like five lanes inside of for the swimming pool. Um, um, as mentioned, so sometimes pools are only illuminated by natural light but or sometimes by artificial light. Sometimes it can be illuminated by the combination of both. Uh, generally, um, 300 lux light level is sufficient in swimming pools. In case of a compet competitions, um, we are talking about 500 lux or more lighting level may be required. Um, uh, light fi lighting uh, fixture, especially when the light reaches um, the water surface at a lower angle than 50 degrees, creates reflection and, and glare. And to avoid uh, this situation, correct planning must be done in design phase. Um, prob generally, such a problem does not occur when the lighting feature are placed directly on the pool. So this means for this project, we will, the um, luminaires will be installed on the ceiling. Um, the problem occurs when the lighting feature are placed on the on the side of the pool. So if you place it for example on the walls and then you just direct uh, the light distribution on the on the on the above the swimming swimming pool. And then when the light reaches the water surface at a lower angle uh, crazy reflection and glare and that's the situation yeah it's a little bit dangerous for for the people which are uh, which are using the swimming pool because you can generate a dazzling effect and swimmers can be discomfortable oh okay let's move on the lighting planning i will say that uh, if you go on the um, space you need to go on uh, and search for the swimming pools you will find on the educational buildings and then you have um, you, sh you need to select the sport hall gymnasium and swimming pools and then you see the visual task we have we speak about as mentioned only 300 lux um, glare of 22 and the height it's um, on on one meter height of a working plan it's one meter so with this selection in place then we can um, add as well i would say um calculate uh, calculation object i will just draw 
uh, calculation object above uh, the swimming pool just to have um, let's say more precise or more focused the um, the, um, the calculation surface so we can have it here and we can place it also above like the position we can put it as was in you know in one meter above the the working plane so you can see now in the 3d effect but i'm curious let's say what will be on the on the floor level the lux level so let's let's start it like this so we have the calculation object in place now i will go to the lighting to choose the lighting fixtures um, I, we will use these luminaires um, you need to be careful when you choose a luminaire that for indoor swim pool um, when you place it on as i said the installation above so not immerse in the water the ip you need to take care about the ip so we speak about an ip 65 for the luminaires which are installed out of the of the swimming pool so in this case uh, on the ceiling or on the on the walls and if you plan to install luminaires inside of the swimming pool then you need to to go for um, IP68. So be careful um, about the IP protection and also should be corrosive resistance uh, luminaires. Okay, um, let's let's move now on to uh, the uh, visualization and I will just draw a rectangular with the luminaires let's see the su suggestion from dialogues i think it's for 300 lux this is it will be too many so i will edit a little bit we i will say number of luminous line of wood is four and here let's go five and we can check as well the mounting let's go and have a look on the mounting so we have a mounting height to 5.5 meters so we have a suspension of 0.5 meters um let's switch on the 3d so this is the lighting concept and let's click on the play button and let's start the lighting calculation and let's see the the outcome uh, related to the um, illuminance level that we obtain um, just one remark if you you plan to use um, in addition to general lighting so what we have in this moment underwater lighting in the swimming pool can be used to reduce the reflection effect and improve the the lighting quality under the water um, that kind of lighting it's also i would say uh, important for 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 safety and as i mentioned early i want to highlight that um, when you choose um, light diffusion fi fixtures for um, swimming pools be careful about the ip um, should have as a minimum ip54 protection class and the fixtures which are underwater should have minimum ip68 um, yeah so because yeah safe it's it's first you know you need to avoid to that someone will, will drown on yeah that will be very very unpleasant and maintenance of the light lights can be very hard and as well expensive don't need the height um, especially if, the, uh, if it's placed on, swim on swimming pools so i would say for this reason long life maintenance free option like led luminous which i we are using in this moment should be evaluated when you um, when you establish um, a lighting design for for the for a swimming pool 
flood, flood, floodlights um, can be direct to walls and ceilings to provide glare free lighting also as mentioned early please try to use as many fixtures on the ceiling so direct um, above the, the swimming pool and try to avoid to direct um, the, the light from from the walls just to avoid uh, the reflection and discomfort for the swimmers okay now we have the results so uh, on the on the surface calculation surface we have obtained a 317 lux and also an uniformity of 0.8 which is very very good so this is on the work plane and then if we go on one meter which was suggested with um, with the norm we reach a um, light level of 353 lux and uniformity of 0.38 most important is the swimming pool of course to meet but we are with green in both cases so in this case um the solution the lighting solution um, it's good so that's a good job done so this lighting solution can be implemented uh, for this um, indoor swimming pool um, if we have any questions related to to light, establishing the lighting design for the for the swimming pools uh, please let your comments um, under this video i'm very happy uh, to answer and help you to establish lighting solution for this kind of um, space um, other questions related to the lighting feel free to ask i'm as mentioned earlier more than happy to to, to support uh, when we we talk about the lighting design for for different application indoor or outdoor so have a great day thank you for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel if you didn't do it yet uh, give a like and have a good day